And we're back with Richard Reviews. Today we're reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash Griffin Chestnut here on YouTube. This is Richard's um, YouTube channel that reviews all the books that Richard has read. Uh, in today's episode, we are reviewing Sputnik Sweetheart by Haruki Murakami. Uh, Murakami is one of Richard's favorite authors, as um, it is shown, Richard has read his entire bibliography, and uh, Richard is generally just an overall huge fan of Haruki Murakami. This novel, Sputnik Sweetheart, was given to Richard, uh, as you can see, the John Galt design, cover design. Um, it was given to him in 2000, 2014, I believe. And, um, Richard found this book very liberating. Uh, we're going to take a look at the piece real quick. Now, the piece on, from a general point of view, from up to down, left to right, figure to figure, it's a standalone physical copy. This piece is a beautiful piece. Now, we'll pick it up. It's got great shine, good copy, clean print, stylistically, it's, it's, it's a masterpiece. All right, we're looking at Haruki Murakami, Sputnik Sweetheart. Okay, this is the vintage version. And here on the back, uh, as we look at the back, we're looking at an elegant glance from top to bottom. Okay, let's take a look at the price here. And we're looking at 16 U.S. dollars, 22 Canadian. And we're staying in the realm of fiction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a masterpiece right here. It's just strictly jaw-dropping. And now, of course, we have our we have our acclaimed director, fantastic piece of meat, uh, Haruki Murakami. Let's get a close-up of him. He is um, admiring something in the viewer's eyes, and he's a he's a proud sponsor of uh, his delicate portrayal. Um, now, the piece uh, this is not Haruki's longest book. It's also not his shortest, but it's not very long. Um, let's look at the page count. We're going to go with, we're, we're rounding out at 200 right now. So 200 page book from Murakami. Uh, very well done. Very well put together from Sputnik Sweetheart. Let's just check out a few of these uh, pages in here from Mr. Haruki Murakami. Yeah, it's just quality, quality stuff. So I believe the uh, the title of this comes from the Russian um, the Russian probe that they sent up in the fifties uh, that was basically renamed after Clint Eastwood. So this is a really clean piece that Richard owns, and um, it's a continuation of his series of uh, aquaponics and mostly frostbiting uh, a lot of Murakami's works based on his friends and other um, continuing transfunctionings. So I know that uh, basically Richard likes to think that a benefit of the doubt is that the work is a publication in Japan. And uh, this is a bit of an interest after Kafka on the Shore and the Wanda Bird Chronicle. This is uh, one of Richard's favorites along with South of the Border, West of the Sun, and a few others that Richard really did enjoy, um, talking about uh, the art of writing. Um, this brings back certain memories of Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance by Robert Persing, which is more of a philosophical tale about a man traveling across the United States of America with his son, uh, Christopher. Um, it's got some, some dialects to it, uh, very uh, abstract and um, filmated, uh, which you can sort of tense with a 2x2 two two on one side and a 2x2 two two on the other. Now, if you bring his trust in the middle and you can subsidize it, you can pretty much break them apart and then formulate a different uh, sequence of advancements. And it's a beautiful piece. Uh, this is easy on the eyes and hard on the motions. You can pretty much count on it being a uh, really tug at the heartstrings, if you will. Uh, this story has a fictional element to it that's a bit of a mystery. 
a little outside of Richard's normal realm of purification of nutrition, and this really does shine with his um, Curac forms of um, some Mozart databases, whether you're living in Belgium or you play the violin, this is for you, and you can, in fact, enjoy some of this space-time from all of Murakami's interviews, past tense and present. Um, here's another thing that Richard really wants to hit home with, and it's whether if you enjoy wearing hiking shoes in the mall, then this is basically the book for you. Not only is it puffed, but it's purified. And what you can basically do with that, Richard entails, is that you can basically just order a ton of magazines and you'll be in the same situation as if you read this book, Sputnik Sweetheart by Haruki Murakami. This is a fantastic read, sort of like a little Bruce Springsteen with a little bit of Carrie Washington. And the post book, the world-class writer who gets a little away, um, ultimately, uh, as per usual in most of Murakami books, uh, the girls just sort of fade out, the love interests. They sort of cease to exist and fade out of existence. A classic Murakami move. Uh, you really can't expect anything other than talking cats, wells, or a fish at the bottom of the, of the lake. Um, this is a little bit Thomas Pynchon, a little bit um, Kurt Vonnegut, and a little bit Don DeLeo, all mixed in one. He's um, a little bit of a brimwall, but he's also Japanese. Now, Richard is a highly critique person of the Japanese culture, and he forms different styles of um, their illiterate um, cosmetology to different types of Parkinson's disease. So we're going to wrap up here with Richard Reviews. This is Sputnik Sweetheart by Haruki Murakami.